Oily skin loves. Want to know how you can use oils to cleanse and treat your skin? Stay tuned and I'll let you know how. <laughs> All right, so what we're going to do today is we're going to learn more about which oils are beneficial for our oily skin type, how to use them properly, and more importantly, why. All right, so I've used oils and oil cleansing to clear up my skin issues and have helped hundreds of people clear their skin and establish their skincare routines using oils. So um, real quick, um, I after the birth of my second son, my skin just went in all different directions and I did not know how to handle it. Um, I had very oily skin, it was very sensitive, um, and I also suffered from uh, blackheads, cystic acne, um, and all types of other things in between. Um, and I did not know how to um, essentially deal with this. I didn't know how to properly cleanse my skin because every time I would use a cleanser, it would strip my skin and then I would end up with more oily skin and dry spots. Um, so it was like a never ending battle and a, and a vicious cycle that I got caught up in. Um, I also wasn't properly moisturizing my skin. And so there was a lot of things that I was doing. My whole entire routine was out of whack. I had about four or five different cleansers but it was a whole mess. I wrote it up on my blog so you can read about it. It's not what we're going to talk about here today. We're going to talk about our oils and how oils can actually help our oily skin. I know it seems counterintuitive to slather on oil on our oily skin, but trust me, it's something that has worked, can work, and will possibly work directly for you. So before we get started, subscribe to this channel uh, for more content like this and more. Comment below if you feel um, that this is beneficial to you at any way, um, or any way, if it's helpful or not. Um, like and share with others uh, who you think will benefit from this. And follow me at Akasha Be Well across all social media platforms, Instagram, Twitter, Facebook, and Pinterest. All right, let's get started. So when I'm talking about how oils can be beneficial, let's first break down how oils are beneficial for oily skin in particular. So oil, oily skin is high in oleic acid, which is an essential uh, fatty acid that we need for our body to, to function. Um, so unfortunately for oily skin and those who are acne prone, um, not everything is going to work on our skin. So basically, um, we want to follow the principles of um, like versus like, right? So if you're um, a chemistry nerd like me, <laughs> um, you'll understand that acid dissolves acid, base dissolves base. And so in this way, at oil um, dissolves oil. So like versus like, or like, yes, like <laughs> dissolves like. So how oil works um, and, and the whole idea behind the oil cleansing method is that it breaks up the dirt and oil on your skin without stripping your skin's natural moisture barrier. Um, when we use harsh soaps and cleansers on our face, um, our skin will then overproduce because our natural moisture barrier has been stripped. And so that sends a signal to your skin that um, it needs to produce oil in order to maintain um, and protect the skin. Um, when we are stripping that, um, it makes it uh, overproduce and then that starts that cycle where we're overproducing oil and it's causing our skin to also become dehydrated and, dehydrated and dry out. So uh, fun fact, oily skin can also be dehydrated and we'll talk about moisturization here in a little bit. So um, what we're dealing with then is a, a, a cycle of rebound oiliness, which can then lead to um, our acne flare-ups, which is a cause, it's, it's caused more uh, by inflammation from the oil overproduction of this oil in our skin. So now we have um, cystic acne, now we have pustules, now we have blackheads, now we have whiteheads. Um, basically, we have comedones all over our, our faces. So what we want to do is use uh, non-comedogenic oils on our face, um, non-comedogenic meaning non-clogging oils on our face. And so how do you determine what is and, and what isn't um, a clogging oil on our skin? I'm so glad you asked that. <laughs> so basically there is a scale from uh, zero to five, zero to five. 
of which oils are going to basically cause you problems. We'll just call them problem oils and oils which are beneficial. Okay. Now this could be this could this is not universal for everyone, but for those who um, suffer from oily skin and are acne prone. Not suffer from oily skin, have oily skin, but suffer from the problems that can be associated with it. Um, you want to stay at a level of two or less, right? Anything more can cause problems. So you're thinking three may cause you a problem, like avocado oil, or it may not cause you a problem, or you can go all the way up to five, like wheat germ oil, um, four, uh, coconut oil, coconut butter. Those will definitely clog, clog pores and cause problems. Um, so what we want to do is stay within um, the range of zero to two and not go any further than that. Okay, and what does that mean? What 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 oils fall into that scale? Well, you're gonna look for something that has a high linoleic acid. So linoleic acid um, are is an essential fatty acid. Essential being it's something that um, is required by the body, but our body cannot make it. Um, so. Um, with a linoleic acid, it's omega-6, we're looking for these particular oils because they help to keep um, our moisture barrier protected, they are soothing, they're anti-inflammatory, so they're not going to cause um, any acne flare-ups, they're not going to cause any irritation, um, and they're the best for our oily and our, our acne-prone skin. So what we're looking for when we're thinking about uh, linoleic acids, we're looking at um, sunflower oil, uh, safflower oils, um, rose hip oils, those type of oils we're looking for for our skin. Um, the absolute best oil that I found um, are two um, for our particular skin um, uh, in, in conjunction with sun, sunflower and safflower oil. And one is castor oil. Castor oil is the only oil that contains ricinoleic acid, um, which is antibacterial and it has deep cleansing properties. Um, so when you're choosing these oil, I'm sorry, and that's found in castor oil. Um, jojoba oil is another oil, but it's actually considered to be a liquid wax. And so this oil is actually um, uh, high in nutrients, and it's also very hydrating to our skin. Um, it acts, it kind of mimics our own um, skin oil, and so our skin is very much able to um, uh, absorb this oil and use it um, for repair and use it to keep our moisture um, balance in check. Um, so when we're choosing our oils, we want to make sure that our oils are high quality, um, cold pressed, and that they are organic as possible. Okay. Um, so let's talk about how to incorporate these oils into your everyday skin routine. Um, the best way that I like to do this um, every day is I choose an oil cleanser um, for my skin and I have it over here I'll show you. So I make this and this is called, uh, oh goodness, <laughs> I don't know if you can see that. That light's probably too bright. Okay, so it's called Perfecting Oil Cleanser. And this oil cleanser has been formulated specifically for oily skin and sensitive skin. The properties of this oil are that they are, um, they contain oils that are deep cleansing, that are moisturizing, that are hydrating, um, that repair, um, and they're anti-inflammatory, also anti-aging. Um, and so they have a lot of oils that are um, antioxidant that contain high levels of antioxidants. Um, so the, my, as, as I was stating before about one of my favorite oils um, being castor oil, that's one of the main ingredients in this oil um, because it is so deep cleansing and also because it is um, an astringent. And it's something that, um, oh, it's antibacterial as well. So it's something that our skin needs because oily skin, like all skins, um, we have bacteria that is, that's all over our, our, our bodies. Um, but it's only a problem when they get trapped in the oil and they get trapped in um, our pores where they start to, to cause an issue um, and then cause a reaction. Um, and it just tumbles from there, right? So the next oil that's in this um, cleanser we already talked about is jojoba oil. This particular oil um, 
is complementary to the castor oil and also to the argon oil and rosehip seed oil. Now those last two oils are also very um, uh, beneficial to our skin. Um, the rosehip oil is a fast uh, absorbing oil and it's also antioxidant and it contains antioxidants. It's anti-inflammatory. Um, it's also a good reparative oil for our skin and it also contains anti-aging properties. Now, why are we using this in an oil cleanser? Pretty simple, because we want our skin to be clean, but we want our skin to also be hydrated, and we also want our skin to begin that repairing process, okay? So, um, if you check out my other video that I've done um, detailing the oil cleansing method, you'll learn how to do this very simple, um, very essential cleansing method for our oily skin. Um, and it also helps to keep, by doing this oil cleansing method every day, it also helps to keep our um, oils in check in our skin so that we're not overproducing and we're not stripping our natural um, oil barrier, I'm sorry, our natural moisture barrier from our skin. I got oils on the brain. <laughs> All right. Um, so what we want to do is make sure that we're f using the right oils, following the, the right protocol to make sure that um, we're not stripping our skin and that we are being as gentle as possible with our oily and sensitive skins. Um, so I would like for you to check out the oil cleansing um, video so you can learn how to do this process. Um, if, you're if you're just now learning about these oils and you want to learn more um, about how to incorporate them into your next steps in your oil cleansing or in your oil involving skincare routine, um, I will have another video that will be posted up very soon talking about using oils to moisturize your skin um, and to repair and treat your skin. All right, so if you're dealing with issues of um, uh, dryness, if you're dealing with issues of inflammation, 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 <laughs> um, and if you're also dealing with issues of hyperpigmentation um, and um, things of that sort, then we'll, we'll definitely have another, another uh, video to talk about that and to take you through these steps of looking at these oils. Um, so thank you so much for being here. Um, I would like to know if you liked or you did not like it, please comment below. If you have any comments or questions, comment below. Um, make sure you're subscribing, tap that bell to be notified when we put up more uh, new videos and um, share with someone who you think will benefit. If you um, have oily skin friends or family members and you're like, hey, I felt like this could be beneficial to you, um, please go ahead and share. Also, follow us on our other social media channels, um, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest. We are at Akasha Be Well across all platforms. All right. Thank you so much. Uh, also, let me know if you're interested in oil cleansing or if you're interested in learning more about different types of oils, because just like you can't, I wouldn't recommend using coconut oil on your face, but goodness gracious, this hair and this body loves coconut oil. And we will definitely talk about that as well. All right. So thank you so much for being here. And I look forward to speaking with you more.